typical, you know, standard Marxist question that why is it with the rise of the market, bonded labor still exists in the economy? And he produced a very interesting explanation of how, you know, why, in spite of a market of grain, uh, the way in which the market operated, you know, the um, laborers did not become free laborers in a capitalist sense of the term. They remained in a certain sense bond, bonded, not always in, in the technical sense, but they remain bonded in the economy. Although they become subsumed, that is connected in a way where the larger economy draws benefit from them without transforming their economic structure into a fully fledged capitalist agriculture, this kind of thing. So I, I would say that even within Marxism, uh, even within the economic analysis of Marxism, there is this way of uh, thinking of this structure. This is why I find the term structure so interesting. That the structure to me means, uh, you know, uh, the definition of the structure in dominance is whatever is a particular substructure at a particular point of time, and it's, it's existing specific relationships with each other which produces the structure at this particular moment in time. You know, that is the structure. We should not think of any kind of teleological uh, tendency within the structure to transform itself in a particular direction. Right? Uh, Aditya Nigam's book actually discusses this a little bit more. So I do not see why, you know, if you're a Marxist and think of the social formation as a structure in the typical historical structure, this kind of sense, we cannot deal with the question of particularity that way. But I agree with you that there is a form of Marxism which tends to ignore that, uh, which finds it difficult to come to grips with that or allow that any expression in our analysis. Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, this was extremely um, fascinating, illuminating, um, and it really gives us a sense of your intellectual history as well. And um, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how clapping goes in this situation. Um, and then I would just remind everybody that um, Partha Chatterjee will be um, offering the second masterclass next week, um, speaking on his new book um, from 2020, I Am the People, Reflections on Popular Sovereignty Today. Um, you should be able to access it electronically through uh, Clio, through the library. If you can't access it for some reason, um, let me know and um, we'll see what we can do. There, there would be, I think the link would be uh, circulated from the South Asia Institute. The, the link for the class or for the, yeah. for the book? No, for part of the session. Yes, it will be circulated the same way that today's cir okay. was circulated. Okay. And uh, we'll make sure that um, everybody, what we didn't do initially was circulate the link to faculty, which came, occurred rather late. And so we will do that earlier this next okay. time. I want to hide and listen to it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, well, I think, I think it's really um, a wonderful opportunity, not only for students to hear the faculty, but for ha faculty to hear each other, which because yeah, so. we don't sit in on each other's classes usually so okay. um, thank, you. thank you so much thank and uh, much. we'll see everybody next week bye 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 thank you bye